Hello guys, this is Lucas, and today, well, it is early in the morning, and I re you ask me, do I like making videos in the morning? That's what I do when I'm bored. So today, I'm going to show you a contraption that I made, but I have to get it. It was for science class, and, um... It was a project that I had to do. I'm in fifth grade, if you didn't know, 10 years old, blah, 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 blah. And, um, the TV's over there talking. I'm going to turn it off so it doesn't cause any problems with you just listening to it. And I'm going to get it and get everything ready, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys, I got it in it. Is wait, I don't know if you can see this. It's right there, it says science on it because <clears throat> it was meant for science class. Okay, let me just bring it over here. No, 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 let me put you up. Hold on, guys, it, well, it might take a few minutes. Okay. And if you could see very closely, right here with my fingers, there's this switch. This is off, which is off this right now. And this is on. And I will tell you how you can make one similar to this. Or kind of like this. Well, not kind of like this. I tell you how to make one similar. But I wired mine in series. I got my things on there. I got a um LED light on the inside of it and I just flip the switch Damn. and that's what it does and <clears throat> my sources are the batteries my light on the inside has to have 4.5 volts and each of these are 1.5 volts so that all equals up to 4.5 volts. If you can see, like, right here, it tells about it. You could, I'm going to, like, put the camera up to these and let you have a chance to, like, read them and up to this one. So, I'm going to let you do that right now. Oh, crap. Electricity is a flow of electrons around a, a circuit. <coughs> Basic features of a circuit. Source of electrical energy. Example, battery. Have a device run by electrical energy. Example, light bulb. Connected by conducting wires in switch. Used to open and close circuit. Wait, switch. Used to open and close circuit. Uh, it says close and open right there, but what I'm going to tell you, if you're not in 5th grade yet, or if you are, and you haven't learned about this yet, you haven't done a project or anything, I don't know if you are, um, it isn't going to say close and open, it'll say, wait, it might, I think, let me try and remember, it's going to say closed circuit and an open circuit, a closed circuit is an incomplete path, an incomplete path. Wait, I mean, a closed circuit is a complete path, and an open circuit is an incomplete path. Because open, like, your wires aren't connected. Like, say if my fingers are on my wires, they're not connected. Then a closed circuit, they're connected, and then your light bulb lights up. <clears throat> and I'm going to leave a link in the description to tell you how to build one, and I'm going to tell you how to build one right now. Okay, so, okay, for, for this thing, you're going to need a battery, well, it doesn't matter what kind of battery you get, if you have, like, a tiny light bulb, probably about like that, you probably want to get at least, like, two, nine volt, wait, one of them big old round batteries like this, 
like big old round batteries if you know what I'm talking about and you want to tape them two batteries together really good with electrical tape and then you get some alligator clips then you tape the alligator clips around on one end of the battery and then you can have a light bulb make the alligator clip clip on the light bulb on the end where it looks like a bronze metal thing you clip it on there then you tape it around it and whatever you put that end on the battery it's gonna make it light up but the way the two batteries go the negative goes against the positive and one positive points out and one negative points out the positive is the one that has like if you don't know the positive is the one that has like a little dent on the outside like on the very end of the battery the negative um in is like on the bottom of it so you could just like sit it down and stay straight I can show you I just gotta get it better so I'll be back in just a minute guys I did not find one but I was whenever I was looking for one my lava lamp looks crazy yes lava lamp if you're like you got a lava lamp uh so awesome okay I'm gonna try okay let me see how much better I'm gonna unplug it and you might hear a noise whenever I unplug it because it's going dead a little bit sorry about that guys Move my Spider-Man. See that? That's weird. It usually doesn't do that. You make a bubble up. It doesn't do that. I think it might be broken. I think the thing might have burnt in it. I'm going to fill it and see if it's hot. Yeah, it's warm. Not necessarily that hot okay so guys if you enjoyed this video hit that like and subscribe and leave a comment on what you want me to do next and say bye guys